Rebecca Ferguson's abusive co-star might have been finally found that fans suspected for a long time. The alleged abuser of Mission, Impossible star Rebecca Ferguson may have been confirmed by a known industry insider. Fans would recall the actress making accusations towards a former co-star who reportedly abused her on a movie set. Popular media scooper My Time to Shine Hello revealed on Twitter that Rebecca Ferguson's Florence Foster Jenkins co-star Hugh Grant was the person who abused the actress on a movie set. This was after a post from Daily Mail celebrity claimed that it was not Emily Blunt who screamed at Ferguson, and that they are friends with nothing but love between them. Other celebrities attached to the rumor include Dwayne Johnson, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Ewan McGregor, though The Rock has ruled himself out after he showed support for Ferguson for standing up to her abuser via a Twitter post. The Star Wars actor, on the other hand, shared a goofy interview with the Dune star proving he was not the person of interest. Jake Gyllenhaal worked with Ferguson in the 2017 movie Life, and the actor has been accused of displaying bizarre behavior on movie sets. However, if the industry scooper proved to be telling the truth and it was indeed Grant, then the Nightcrawler actor is marked safe. Grant and Ferguson starred in the 2016 biographical film Florence Foster Jenkins where they portrayed St. Clair Bayfield and Kathleen Weatherly, respectively. Their characters were supposed to be lovers in the film. Rebecca Ferguson reveals how she was abused by a co-star. Rebecca Ferguson exposed the details regarding her alleged abuse on a movie set in an interview via Rain with Josh Smith. She described how the actor humiliated her in front of everyone, and all she could do was break down and cry. I did a film with an absolute idiot of a co-star. I remember there was a moment, and this human being was being so insecure and angry because this person couldn't get the scenes out. But because this person was no. One on a call sheet, there was no safety net for me, so no one had my back, and I would cry walking off set. In the end, the Swedish actress stood up for herself and told the actor as well as the producers that she'd rather work with a tennis ball than see the actor's face again. This person would literally look at me in front of the whole crew and say, you call yourself an actor. This is what I have to work with. What is this? And I stood there just breaking. I remember being so scared. I looked at this person, and I said, you can F off. I'm going to work toward a tennis ball. I never want to see you again. Ferguson did the remainder of her scenes though she had to compromise because the producers would not allow her to send away the film's main star.